She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is the Danny Johnson Show. So there you are, you are completely overworked. Could you imagine putting in 70 to 80 hours a week as a single woman, trying to get ahead, being overloaded and suffocating under the pressure of debt and not knowing how to fix it. But worse yet, the debt is one thing, the 70 to 80 hours a week, but where Maria Newton found herself was in a place where she just kept putting off goals and dreams. She just thought they would just never happen, that this life was supposed to be a slave to work and a slave to debt which is why I'm so excited to bring you to her. She actually came to us back in 2008. And here on the Danny Johnson Show, which is where I hope you're joining us every single day, we challenge you with not only content that is gonna help you get to your destiny, but as well as testimonials, people who have lived the life that you're living right now, who have managed to cross over to a completely different life, a life by design, a life that is reaching that thing that is calling out to them. And that's exactly what I've been able to watch watched since 2008 with Maria Newton. First of all, beautiful, gorgeous woman. As you can see, some of the pictures that we're going to be showing you during her interview, I so wish she was here live in the studio because her smile is electric, absolutely electric. But when I first saw her in 2008, there wasn't much of a smile there at all. There was nothing but greeting of teeth and, and so many problems and not knowing how to solve them. And you could just see it was almost as though she had lashes on her back because of the kind of slavery that she had submitted herself to that she just thought that's how life was supposed to be. So Maria Newton's story today is going to inspire you. And then towards the end of the show, we're going to have Mario Johns, who, oh my gosh, his story also is going to blow your mind. Because if today is a day like uh, it is for me, I need that extra dose of inspiration. I need that day that says, yes, you can continue another day. And that if somebody else can reach that level of success and they can topple over those uh, those obstructions and, and that resistance and those problems that some Sometimes we create ourselves, other times the other people create them for us. That man, if they can move past those, then Lord have mercy, so can you and I. So thanks so much for joining us today. Maria Newton, I'm excited for you to be able to share all the intricacies of your story. So tell us, where was your life? What was your life like prior to coming to First Steps to Success, that live three-day training seminar that you came to all the way back in 2008? So prior to getting started and coming to First Steps to Success, I was um, working, working in my career. I was, I was really working 70, 80 hours a week, and I would hit and go through lows and highs because working so hard, because I was taught you had to work hard mm -hmm. and do your very best, and I believe in you have to put your best foot forward and do your very best. Mm -hmm. And so I was working and working, but I just felt like I was not reaching my goals, especially in my career. I kind of felt like I was hitting this goal. And even though I was what I was to do, I just, I was hitting a wall and wasn't really advancing. What do you mean by you were hitting a wall? I mean, so you're working like so hard. I mean, 70 to 80 hours a week. That means were you taking work home with you? Like, was it never ending? Was it always on the brain? Yeah, um, I was I was staying late at the office. Mm -hmm. I was taking work home with me. I would, depending on what's going on at the time, on the middle of the night or, or the evening. And so it was just nonstop, and it was constantly um, in my brain, even after, you know, the conference yeah. calls, and it was nighttime. I'm in my head still working. Wow. Um, so not shutting everything. Yeah, not not giving yourself a break at all. Okay, so so and you work largely in a in a male dominant um, industry, correct? It's been that way um, for part of the time. So mm -hmm. yes. So did you feel like because you were a woman that you had to like work more and work harder just to kind of keep up with the man's world in the industry that you were a part of at that time? Um, at that time. Partially, yes, um, but then um, part of it, before I came to, so I've done a lot of the male-dominant stuff actually after, mm -hmm. um, but before coming in, it was a mixed 
you know, it was, it was mixed male and female. Well, why were you working so hard? Why, why does somebody put their body, their soul, their mind, their everything, 70 hours a week into a career? <sighs> to get ahead so I could mm-hmm. get those things that I dreamed of that I thought that were important. What, which you know, were what? Do. What were you working 70, 80 hours a week for? What were those things that you're talking about? Those things like um, those things like being successful and being looked at as being successful. Mm-hmm. Isn't that wild? The things that we will kill our bodies for. So obviously yeah. you were burnt out by the time you came to First Steps to Success. You were obviously overworked, obviously making money, obviously good at what you were doing, but you're saying, man, I'm just not getting ahead. And so why did you have a debt? I mean, you're a single woman, 70 to 80 hours of work you're, you're working. You're in a good profession that you're making pretty good money. Why, how much debt were you carrying and why were you carrying that debt? Oh gosh, um, debt. It was it, it was ridiculous. Um, money like crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, and part of that, obviously, I didn't know it then, but I know now. I was doing the spending to make myself. Um, but I was um, over two thousand dollars in debt, two hundred thousand dollars in debt between student loans, credit cards, and just spending. Right. So here you have $200,000 worth of debt between credit cards and student loans, and you're spending like what? Like, you know, monthly? What are you spending the money on that was driving up those credit cards? Clothes. Really? Entertainment, travel. um, Yeah. Just whatever your heart's desire. When did it finally dawn on you that you probably should, like, annihilate your debt? (laughs) I knew because with the credit card debt and then you know it's like all of a sudden it's like okay you don't have as much money as you think you do Mm -hmm. and then it's like okay then the then it's like trying to avoid the problem and burying your head in the sand and that's what I was doing Mm -hmm. and then I just looked at it one day I was like this is crazy I can't I can't afford to really do the things that are really important to me that I want to do down the road because I'm carrying all this debt and it was it was overwhelming. So what were the things that were down the road important to you that you wanted to do? Um, to be able, I always loved traveling and I still mm-hmm. do, but the travel was to not just to go on a travel for a trip for myself, mm-hmm. but to do things with other people and to help other people so that it's not just about me. Yeah. So um, I... That's a really important part of my life. Yeah. And so if I don't have money, I can't do that very well. That's right. That's right. And no matter how much you make, if you're spending all you make, plus you're going into debt on top of spending all you make, then those other things that are more important to you get forfeited. And so obviously that creates a lot of pressure. And then you kind of just see a vicious cycle of not being able to move ahead. So Maria, what changed after First Steps to Success? What changes did you apply that you heard from the stage, those techniques or what strategies specifically did you implement immediately that changed your your work life and then, of course, your financial life? The very first thing that I remember that I caught was for me to prosper where I was planted Mm -hmm. because we can always find something wrong with someone else of why a situation isn't the way it's supposed to be. But I had to look at myself Mm -hmm. and say, well, what am I doing in this situation? I am here to do about it. And so I took that internally and said, I need to do what I need to do and not worry about everyone else and make the very best of it and work diligently mm-hmm. the Lord. But you said you were already working diligently. You're working 70 to 80 hours yeah. a week. So how was, so what problem were you facing that uh, you were to prosper where you were planted? Because on the outside, it kind of looked like you were prospering where you planted. Were you wanting to quit mm-hmm. your job or you were trying to find something that, you know, looked better than what you were already doing? Is that what yeah. you were trying to do? Yeah, that's part of it. I wanted you know, to be in that position in someone's corner office. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I said, let me focus on where I am right now and not focus on that. Gotcha. 
So rather than looking at somebody else that had the position that you wanted, you focused on getting really, really good at your current position and prospering there. What happened since you started to prosper where you were planted? I've been able to um, grow. I mean, just about increasing, um, but I've been able to gain influence. And in the in that growth, yes, I've been able to change um, positions and awesome. companies. But what's blown out of all that the level of influence grown up with what I've been able to do mm-hmm. has blown mine. And just thought about this the other day that I literally have gotten three positions with no face to face interview. And that blows my mind. Wow. And one of those didn't do whatsoever, that was all based on a and you need to hire this woman. Wow. Wow. So people are seeking you out because you grab this one strategy of prospering where you were planted and working diligently. And what you said was working diligently as unto the Lord and not trying to work diligently as unto man, not trying to care about what man thinks about you or says about you, but to actually just work for the one who you know loves you, cares for you, and can promote you because he's the promoter of every single one of us. And many of us do not work as as though we're working for him, you know, as a project manager, which is what you are, you know, as working in corporate America, which is what you do. We just say, oh, no, we're working for what the label is on the outside of the building. No, we're not. As we are men and women and daughters and sons of the most high God, we are working for God, who is the best possible boss we could ever have and who is the boss over all things and over all people. And he sees the things that we did, good, bad or indifferent. And so when we really put our best foot forward and we focus on prospering, right where we're at and making where we're at better than when we first entered into that place. Then then when we create something better that is there and we bring better value that is there, because sometimes we could be looking, as you said, Maria, you know, I was looking at that guy in the corner office saying, well, I should be in that position and that's the job I want, which makes us unsatisfied with the job that we currently have, which makes us not go all in on our job and we don't produce good value in our job because we're thinking of a different job. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. Did you know you can see Danny Johnson live and in person? Go to dannyjohnson.com and find out about our next live event. First steps to success in Orlando, Florida. Register today. Call 866-760-8255 or go to dannyjohnson.com forward slash FSTS. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. The most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. 
Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do with your life? Discover your own answer. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Sometimes we can be so focused on what we want outside of us that somebody else has. You know what I mean? Like in the case with Maria Newton, she wanted somebody else's job. That we cannot be focusing on the current job that we have and not bringing high value. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. Welcome to The Danny Johnson Show, where we tackle the topic of success every single day right here. And why do we tackle this? Because there's so much messaging that's coming at you every day telling you what it takes to be successful. Oh, you're being lured in, just like Maria was. You know, it's like the car that she drives or the clothes that she's going to wear or the kind of house that she's going to buy. These these are the things that society was telling her that it took to be successful. But there she was, $200,000 in debt, some student loans, the other because of her crazy lifestyle that she was living above her own means and yet working 70 to 80 hours a week, right? High-powered woman in the corporate world? Hello. Yeah, now that's what it takes to be successful. But there she was, 2008, she topples in two first steps to success, our three-day training seminar, where she discovered, hold on a second here. I am not happy. What is this really all about? What am I doing with my life? Literally, man, I, it's almost as though I can envision the, the, the slashes on her back for the slavery in which she had submitted herself to and just got used to the pain of the slavery of $200,000 in debt and got used to the slavery and the pain of working 70 to 80 hours a week as a single woman in corporate America. Well, after coming to First Steps to Success, she has been able to change her entire life around. So Maria, one of the strategies that you said is you began to prosper where you're planted and this grew your influence. You stopped coveting somebody else's position and you started really drilling down and becoming more efficient in your current position that you had. And that created opportunity for you. You became more valuable to people. And as you said, you got three job offers, uh, got recommended by three different people and didn't have to interview for anything. Um, And as a project manager, you need those kinds of interviews because you work predominantly as as a contractor inside of other corporations. And so you need people calling you. You need people coming to you saying, we wanna work with you. And so obviously what has happened to your income, what has happened to your debt and what does life look like today? So my um, my career and the income has has steadily increased. Wow! So I've been able to, you know, obtain these positions, and then and I have to say this because this is absolutely crazy. Um, I had a period. I know so many people in 2008 and 2000 to 2010, um, 11. Just the economy yeah. is raw and it sucked for a lot of people. And I had a period of time where I was working, and it, it didn't affect me whatsoever. Mm-hmm. And but then I hit a glut where I would lost work, and I did, I had nothing coming in. But what sustained me through that period, and I wouldn't have made it really is so important. Somebody gets this. I would never have made it out had I not been preparing for those years from 2008 yep. until 2010 to 11 when that hit. Yep. Because I was able to save money, I was paying down debt, yep. and I was taking thing and not like a crazy nut. Yep. Um, it's amazing how what I see wow. people who are going through a hard time they actually spend more. It's almost like a drug. Like for some people, you know, when when they've lost their job, they'll turn to the bottle. Others will turn to drugs. Others will turn to pornography. But there are still others that turn to the credit card and they spend as though they still have money. They're like still eating out. They're still buying new clothes online. I mean, they are still like doing the same amount of entertainment they were before, but they have no job as though this is wise. It's almost like it's an addiction. But what you what you said that you learned at First Steps was how to be more wise financially and how that when the years of good, when you had those seasons and years of plenty, when you're making those six figures uh, that you saved, you put away, you changed your, your spending habits and you started to get that drug out of your veins and get cleansed of that that uh 
that uh, persuasion that you had of like, oh, I got to have that new dress. I got to have that new suit. I've got to look good. You know, so you, you cut off those temptations from you and got used to that and living a much more simpler life that when the when some things started to get a little wobbly, because listen, nothing lasts forever. Just because we make six figures or seven figures or eight figures today doesn't mean that we're going to tomorrow or the next year or the following year. And so we got to be wise during those lean seasons and and develop new habits during the flourishing seasons so that when everything kind of, you know, mellows out in a graph, if you will, we have good seasons and bad seasons that we're not, our whole lifestyle isn't changing during the bad season, that we actually change it to the better, more wise in the flourishing season. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. How did Mario get free from drugs at a business seminar? You might be surprised at what he did next on The Danny Johnson Show. I'm so blessed that I found what is in Grooming the Next Generation for Success. This is a book that is being taught in universities around the world. It's been noted as the best book on parenting that has ever been written. Crazy, if you ask me. But the point is, is that this thing gets results. Get your copy today, 888-757-8880. Again, that's 888-757-8880. Or go to dannyjohnson.com. That's D-A-N-I johnson.com. Get your copy today. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. Have you ever had some really good, strong years? I know you have. And then you've had some years that were not really good, strong years. Maybe you had some years that were like super lean years. What were the choices that you made in your strong years? Well, I want to warn you right now, and this is so awesome because Maria Newton, who's joining us from uh, Georgia today, she's been a client of ours since 2008. It's been really fun to watch the many, many years and, and the ebbs and flows that have happened in her life that when she first came working like a slave and a slave to debt, to then learning to be wise financially. And in those flourishing times, put money aside. So if you're in a flourishing moment now, put money away. Take it off the table. Live frugal. Live simple. Because there's always going to be another turn. There's another bend coming. And that might be a bend around a corner that has less than what you're making now. But if you raise your your lifestyle when your income raises, now what happens when, yes, when things begin to correct? Now your income drops, but your lifestyle is so high, and that's what you've now that's what you've trained your body for. Now you're in trouble. And so this is what Maria Newton learned what not to do. She learned how to save during those flourishing times. She learned how to cut off those habits that were keeping her in debt and that were keeping her enslaved to having to perform 70 to 80 hours a week. And so Maria, I'm so excited for you and congratulations that the techniques that you learned at First Steps not only helped you to grow in that six-figure income and sustain that, but also how to get more wise financially, that as you prosper greatly, that now you are not just frivolously spending it and no longer living above your means, but living below your means, attacking your debt and doing some of the things that you want to do, like traveling. So just give me one place that you've traveled to that you've enjoyed so much that you could encourage our guests and, and listeners today to also maybe go and experience the same thing. Um, I would have to say the um, the two Bs. There's really two places, but I would say um, Belize mm-hmm. and Brazil. Wow. Are the two places, yeah. Why Belize? Belize is a beautiful country. The people are absolutely beautiful yes. and amazing. Yes. And they will steal your heart. Yep. They will steal your heart. They do. They absolutely do. So Belize and Brazil are two places. And again, these were things that Maria was just putting off, putting off because she was working like a slave and under so much debt. And it wasn't until she came to First Steps to Success that she learned, hold on a second here. I don't need to work like a slave. I don't need to live like a slave. I need to change my life by making wiser financial choices, being wiser and adding more value in my job, not more hours, but more value in my job and and now becoming one that is highly recommended across her field, which is exciting. Maria, thank you so much for uh, joining us today and sharing your story. We appreciate you. And it's been so fun watching you over the last many, many years grow and prosper. Joining me now, we switch gears to a completely different story altogether. Mario Johns, man, I actually read his story on our Facebook page. He is also a first steps to success in creating a dynasty graduate, but I had no idea what his path 
past was. I had no idea what his story was until all of a sudden one day he posted a picture of himself and myself uh, at a first steps to success and uh, with his story attached to it. I don't want to take anything, I don't want to steal any thunder away from his story at all, but get ready to be completely blown away and inspired. And just know this, that you might have a very close friend that might look like everything looks pretty good on the outside, but on the inside, he's completely torn up. He's a mess in every way and doesn't know how to clean it up. And so today might be a program that you want to share with other people because uh, it's definitely going to be inspiring. Mario, I am so excited that I get to talk to you on the phone. Just you and me right now. I really am. Thanks so much for joining us today on, on this program. Hi, Danny. Thank you so much for having me. I'm truly honored uh, to be on your show today. Well, you really blessed me with that picture uh, and your story. It just blew my mind. And I've seen you post it many times, and I encourage you to continue to do that because, you know, there's a lot of people that read that never respond but I know that it is impacting them. And, and and your story is so powerful and it gives so many people hope that you really truly can make new choices and build a brand new life if you are willing to make that first step and take that first step on those first instructions and move your life ahead. So tell us what was your life before you came and fell on the website dannyjohnson.com. In fact, how did you ever even hear about this website? Well, I was... Um... I, I was at this uh, training event back in April of 2013, and uh, this, we were having breakfast, and this guy, Craig, he mentioned your name, Danny Johnson, and I was like, who's that? And he, he told me your story, and I was so intrigued by, by your story, and so I went on, um, I think I went on your website, and I, I started getting the daily fixes every day, hmm. and... Um, then after a while, I, 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 I don't know why, I just stopped uh, like going on your website and stuff. And then it was actually um, August of 2013, four days before my first event, um, I, I, I went on YouTube and I typed your name in, hmm. and testimonials just started coming up. Like, And I watched probably for about 45 minutes to an hour. Wow. And the crazy thing is that I, I, I never really shared with many people was, a week prior to this, to that day, I got a credit card in the mail that I never asked for, and it was for a $1,200 credit limit. Wow. And uh, I was going to rip it up, and then I said, oh, no, maybe I'll, uh, I'll need this for, you know, for an emergency. And so then a week later, I typed your name in um, on YouTube, and after all the testimonials, I was, I was like, I got to be there. Hmm. There's, I have to go. And I'm like, oh, how am I going to go out of the money? And I remembered I had that credit card. Hmm. And I maxed it out because I bought my my flight, my um, hotel room, and the ticket uh, for the event all wow. came out to twelve hundred dollars, and so I was able to use that credit card that I almost threw away to to go to my first first event. It was four days. It was in four days. Wow. Um. So yeah. Um. It was definitely meant to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody was prompting you right there, and you know how we feel about debt, and, and I can't wait for you to tell your debt story. But that was interesting that 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 was sitting there in advance a week beforehand. So yeah, so you were on our site reading the daily fix, get onto YouTube, and you are watching testimonials, kind of like someone is watching this one right now and hearing this. So what was your life like before you came into that first steps? What things were you battling with? And don't hold anything back. You just go for it. Okay. I was, um, you know, my, my whole life, ever since I can remember, even in grade school, I struggled with um, suicide. Uh, I was a very, very suicidal person. I always, and I, you know, and I, it confused me as, as, you know, as a young kid, like, you know, the thoughts of, of killing myself. And I don't know where it ever came from or why. And, and um, so I always struggled with that. Wow. And, um, and before before coming to my uh, first first steps, I was uh, involved with drugs. Um, I got hooked on uh, painkillers, and um, and it, and it had me pretty good. And uh, and I I, co I didn't you know I couldn't I couldn't stop. I just um, you know tried all kinds of things, and and um, I was 
drowning in debt. I, I, I just thought that for me was just a part of life. I just thought I was going to always be in debt and I would never be able to, uh, buy a house or, or go on any trips or I just, uh, that was pretty much like a, a way of life for me. I, you know, I just spent money like, like it was nothing, you know, and, yeah. and, um, spent a lot of money on drugs and, uh, so, um, yeah. So are I, you I saying that you were buying, you were buying prescription drugs and painkillers off the street? Yeah, I was, I was buying them off the street for like five to seven dollars a pop. Wow. And, uh, how long yeah. were you doing would, this for? Would, on a weekend, I would, I would take like on a week, on a Saturday, I would take about eight wow. at least, Wow. you know, and, um, uh, Wow. Yes. How many, how yeah. long did you do this for? How long were you uh, doing drugs? I was, I was doing, I did drugs for about three years, about wow. three years on and off. I, 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 I kept um, trying to get better mm-hmm. and uh, like they have these meetings you could go to and I, I would, I would go to them, but there's just something, something missing. Yeah. And um, I just, I just couldn't. You know, and I'd, I'd fall back and and start using again. It just it overpowered me. It just mm. it had, as my my dad described it as, uh, it's a, it's a physical addiction with a mental obsession. Mm. And I, I just I just couldn't I couldn't like it's the the craziest thing in the world for me was to not be able to control it, and and just you know and that's and then more suicidal thoughts came in because I'm thinking I can't control this. I'm going down a path that I don't want to go down because I know it's, it's, you know, life's just going to get harder and it's just, yes. and, you know, so that's when more and more suicidal thoughts would come in and, and, uh, so yeah. Man. And, and, and it is, it's like a vicious me. cycle. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It, it's, it, it's this, and, and, and you know, it's such a trip, Mario, and you know this now that it's all in our head. It's a battle in our minds and look at how powerful our minds are that we can give it on over to something obsessive that wants to kill us or we can build a life with it. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. So what's keeping you stuck? It's time to get it out of your way for good. Stay right here for more of the Danny Johnson show. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen, do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead-end place where this gentleman found himself but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880, job domination. That's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. Straight talk, real answers. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Suicidal as a young boy. Could you imagine what would ever be in the mind of a young boy to want to kill himself? That's exactly where Mario Johns found himself. Prior to tapping into a website, he's sitting down having breakfast with a friend, and here's the name Danny Johnson. He goes, he checks out the website after hearing the story, starts collecting the daily fix, which by the way, if you're not getting your daily fix, and this is not a drug daily fix, but this is the daily fix, it's your daily dose of inspiration as well as direction for finances, business, or relationships, or just generally for your own personal life to help you move your life forward. That's what he started to read from the website. It jumps into his his inbox every single day, and it's free, by the way. You can get it if you go to dannyjohnson.com. You'll see right on the left-hand side where to go ahead and grab your daily fix. And it just kind of keeps you on track. But that's where Mario Johns was. He tapped into a first steps to success after watching 
testimonials, countless testimonials on our YouTube channel, real life people just like you and me who are in a bad place that then learn some simple little strategies, simple little techniques that even third graders are learning and they are making money. Third graders are learning how to become leaders and how to solve problems and get better grades. My goodness, if a third grader can learn it, certainly adults can learn it. Uh, and certainly Mario John's has learned how, which we're so excited. So Mario, you were just explaining how, gosh, what you said was so powerful. Like it's a physical addiction, but it's a mental obsession. Those painkillers that ruled your life for those three years. And as much as you tried to get help, the help just was missing something. So what happened after first steps? What what clicked for you at this three-day training seminar that began to move you on the road of recovery? Because that's not who you are anymore. You're a completely different man. So what changed? Um, well, you know, uh, be- before going to first steps, I, I, I didn't have a relationship with God. And, um, and, and during your training seminar, uh, I, I, I reestablished my relationship with God. And, and, and that's, how, that's how I was able to, to stop uh, doing drugs. I, I, I'll never forget one day I was, I was driving and this was after the training seminar, and I, I was still struggling real bad because it was, I, you know, I think I was just a few days clean, yeah. and I, I was, I started crying because I, I, I was ready to to call my, you know, my dealer and and get the drugs, wow. and uh, and I remember pulling over to the side of the road, bawling my eyes out, and I and I just I asked God, I'm like, oh. I I can't control this no more. I it's, you know, the the thoughts would just drive me crazy mm-hmm. and and I'm, I'm like god please just i i can't i can't control i can't do this i cannot control this anymore and and honest to god danny i it, it felt like a 50 pound weight yes. was lifted off my chest from that point on i haven't touched uh any alcohol or, or any drugs from that oh, point on wow. um <laughs> so it, wow so he heard your cry he heard your yeah. prayer and he lifted you and delivered you in that moment from that obsessive thinking. He delivered you from that that um, yearning. I know what that's like. I remember my first line of cocaine when I was homeless, right? And it it controlled my body. It was like it was like drawing me to sell my body for more. So I know what you're talking about. That obsessive, controlling mind spirit that comes over us, trying to pull us into a place where we do not belong. But look at how faithful God is, how he heard your cry on the side of the road in your car with your phone in hand, getting ready to call your dealer. And instead you called upon the name of the Lord and he answered you. Could you imagine, think about this. What if, because you rededicated your life to the Lord at first steps to success, probably you were not expecting to do that at all. <laughs> In no. fact, if somebody would have told you, come to first step success, you're going to meet Jesus there. You would have been like, uh, no, I don't think I'll be going to that thing. Oh, what, a, what a cult, what a bunch of weirdos. But you came because of business and money and finance and debt and all that stuff. And you wanted to have success. And yes, you found all of that. But you also found your Savior. Could you imagine if you had not came to that event? Where do you think you would be today? I, uh, oh, man. I, 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 I'd either be, be dead or, 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 you know, just down the wrong path in life. You know, just probably still doing drugs. And, um, I mean, God has, he has worked. Uh, just amazing things in my life. I mean, uh, and you know, every day I, I thank him for for putting me in in, in front of you um, because I was I was able to, to to you know reestablish my relationship with him, and and he is just just keeps blessing me, and 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 I'm just so so grateful. I I I mean, I I'd probably be I I probably be dead to be honest i mean the, the and that's you know and i asked him with the with the suicidal thoughts uh <laughs> that i struggle with too like that's all that's been all that's been lifted wow. the the drugs the suicide yes. all that's been lifted and 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 you know and now i have a vision for my life and and um it's just it's just so so grateful and and so blessed and and you've paid so, off how much debt in a year and a half 
I've I've paid off. I it's it's over thirteen thousand dollars. <laughs> I don't know the exact number, but it's it's over over thirteen thousand dollars now. I, I paid off in the last. I'm gonna say like thirteen, fourteen months, something like wow. that. Wow, how does that feel? That's like $1,000 a month in debt that you've paid off, and you thought there was no hope. You thought debt was just going to be a part of your life for the rest of your life. You just thought that that was just the way things are. Just as you have a right hand, you have debt. You know, it's like a part of your body. Now you know that debt debt is a choice, and it's a habit, just like the drug habit. Debt is just like that kind of a habit. How does it feel to have paid off $13,000 worth of debt in 13 months? Uh, it, it It feels so so freeing like the, the chains have been broken and and it's just I, I you know sometimes it's hard to hard to believe that you yeah. know because I, I I just I mean I think I only have like thirteen thousand dollars left thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars left to go so I'm like at my halfway point wow and um it's just it's it's so like I I could just I just keep visualizing the day yes. where I'm debt free yes. and and it, it just like brings tears to my eyes because, you know, I mean, I mean, we, we kind of grow up, you know, um, learning to be in debt. I yes. mean, you know, uh, get a loan for the car, this and that. And, and, and it just, it, it just felt like there was no way out. And now, I mean, I, I, I Danny, to be honest, it took me a while just to, to get war on debt. Yeah. I mean, if I, if I got war on debt when I very first came to my first event yep. and stuck with it 100%. I'd be debt-free debt right free, now. Debt-free, easily, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'll be honest, I've, I haven't been the greatest with following, but, but when I do, that's when I, I start really hammering down on my debt. Wow. Mario, I am so proud of you. I I really am. It's so good to hear your voice. I can see your face. I'm so very blown away of what you have allowed God to do with you and through you, how you surrendered to Him, and how He has healed you, set you free, and delivered you from the suicide, from the drugs. I can hear the confidence. I can hear the vision in your voice. I'm so excited to watch and see how your life continues to unfold. I'm so grateful that you shared with us today. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more right after this. If you've given up hope for your nation, your family, or even your own life, then this show is for you. This is The Danny Johnson Show. For families in Santa Pancha, Nicaragua, life is filled with fear and struggle. They don't have enough food for their kids, clean water is hard to find, and they're living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel on top of mining tunnels that could explode and sink at any moment. But a miracle is in the making, and you can be a part of transforming this village. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha to see how you can help. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org, and click on Santa Pancha. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. Be sure to tell a friend about The Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. Such powerful stories from two people that did not know they would have one, both Maria Newton and Mario Johns. You have a story, friend. You do. And your story is being written. And either you can stay in the place of being a slave to work as Maria found herself 70 to 80 hours a week with $200,000 in debt, or be like Mario, who was a slave to drugs and suicidal thoughts and live in a life that was destructive for him, but obsessed with that destructive life and didn't know how to clean it up. You know, so many people choose to stay stuck in those places, those pits, sewage pits, But these two encountered a simple website, dannyjohnson.com. You have encountered that same website. Will you make the same choices they have made to take the next step 
Get a hold of that free daily fix daily to help inspire you with new tips to help improve your life. Also, if this is your first time listening in, or watching the show, we'd love to give you a copy of this book that I know both of them also have and follow instructions in this book called First Steps to Wealth, free to you right now. If you call 866-760-8255, again, that's 866-760-8255. You pay for the shipping to get the book to your house. I'll pay for the $15 book. I think it's a, a more than a fair deal. But they came out to First Steps to Success. You need to come. Look what's happened in their lives. They've paid off debt. They've prospered. They've been delivered. They now are living a life they did not even know was possible. They are living out their destiny according to how it was supposed to be lived. Not one of regret, but one that is inspiring now others. One day, maybe you'll be interviewed on this program. Maybe your face will be on that website. Maybe you'll be the one causing and challenging people to do great things with their lives. There's something that these two also have joined us on this adventure with as well. Not only do we work now to, to make money, no. Yes, money has purpose, but these two have also put purpose to that money. They've joined me on this adventure of taking care of the extreme poor, like Pablo and Maria, who have children and live in a very unsafe environment where their ground beneath them shakes every six hours due to dynamite being blowing beneath them in a mine. House right next to them sank and killed a mother pregnant with her, pregnant, eight months pregnant with her unborn child. Well, Mario, Maria, and myself, as well as a whole bunch of other people in the community have come together to build homes for people like Pablo and Maria. If you would like to find out more about that project, go to kingsransom.org. Again, that's kingsransom.org. Join us on this adventure of living a purpose-filled life, a life that is worth living, a life that we will say, man, we did something good with ourselves. Instead of just eating more donuts and watching more TV and playing video games, we're doing something with ourselves. This is Danny Johnson. Thanks so much for joining us today. We hope that today blessed you. Share this program with others and inspire others today as well. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Did you hear that last segment? Do you know someone else who needs to hear it? Go to dannyjohnson.com, find today's show, and share it online. Join us every weekday at 7 a.m. for more insights that will help you get to the life you've always wanted. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success.